Hi everyone, it's Nat from Studio Hacks here and in this video I'm going to be addressing a question that quite a lot of my students from my YouTube course have been asking me and that is how do you change the thumbnail on a YouTube short? It is possible to select a custom thumbnail on your YouTube short. If you want to find out how to do that, stick around and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So before I show you how to select those custom thumbnails for your YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe while you're here. It's the least you can do for all this amazing free content and it really helps us out. If you did subscribe, leave a comment saying I have subscribed. Okay, so first of all, here's the bad news. You cannot change the thumbnail of a YouTube short after you've already uploaded it. If we fire up my YouTube studio and I go to edit one of my recent shorts that I have uploaded, you'll see here where you can normally add a thumbnail for long form YouTube videos. You can change them at any time. You'll see here it says for now you can't change the thumbnail on your short. Maybe because they've used that language for now, it means that maybe they are working on this feature and hopefully, fingers crossed, they'll be adding it in the future. So currently Currently, there is no way to select your thumbnail or upload a thumbnail if you are uploading from a computer. The only way to select a custom thumbnail is if you upload on a smartphone. And there's also another annoying thing. You can't select a thumbnail that you've designed. The thumbnail actually has to be already in the video. So if you're creating your shorts on a computer, you can add a snippet of the actual thumbnail that you want somewhere in the video. That's one way of getting a really good custom thumbnail. But I'll show you how to select it right now. What we want to do is fire up your YouTube app on the smartphone and we're going to hit the plus down the bottom and we're going to select create a short. The only time you can select a thumbnail for your YouTube short is at the moment of uploading it on your mobile device. So instead of creating this short in the app like you sometimes normally would, this is a pre-recorded short that I'm just uploading. And so I've uploaded that and I'm going to go next. On the final page here, it's going to allow us to select a title and it's going to show whether we publish it as a private video or if it goes public and it's live. So this is the point right here where you select the thumbnail and you do it by hitting that little pen or pencil icon, whatever that is, right here on your video. Now this will, you can slide anywhere in your video and then wherever that stops, that will be your thumbnail. Now if you do not hit that pencil icon, YouTube will just randomly pick some frame from the middle or like one third of the way through your video whatever it's like uh, algorithm or AI thinks is good, which is normally a horrible thumbnail, you want to be selecting your own thumbnails. So what I want for my thumbnail is actually just this bit at the start. But I found that if I hold it all the way at the start, it doesn't work. You have to actually put it in at least one second in. And then that, that's going to be my thumbnail and I hit done. And then I'm going to give a title to my short and then I'm going to hit upload short and if you want it to be public make sure it's public if you want it to be private keep it on private so that's it that's how you select your custom thumbnail from your youtube shorts i find it personally quite annoying that you can easily select high quality thumbnails for your normal youtube videos but somehow with all the power of google they can't allow you to select a simple thumbnail for a youtube short because a lot of people don't really scroll the shorts on youtube like they do on tiktok they see the shorts on the home page right here and you'll see that a really good looking thumbnail is really important to get a high click-through rate you'll see that some of these ones with average looking thumbnails including one with me on it right there right here average right here average hardly any views on that one hardly any views on that one not many views on that one but the three in the middle there with people's faces framed right in the middle and some nice text on it those are pretty good looking thumbnails for a youtube short we've got 3.5 million views 7.9 million views and 2.2 million views. So I would really like YouTube to add in the ability to just select a thumbnail after the fact so we can design a really eye-catching thumbnail and pop it on there. But for now, 
The only way you can do it is at the moment of uploading it through your mobile device. Here's a really cool trick you can do uh, to get a really nice looking thumbnail for your YouTube short. You can design a thumbnail in Canva. I'm just going to use this random template as an example right now. I'm just going to download this. So if you've created a YouTube short in a video editor, such as like CapCut, iMovie, whatever you've got going, you can then grab that thumbnail that you've designed and just pop it at the very end of your video just for like half a second. So it just flashes at the end. At $13. So here's my video, and there it is. But the last quarter of a second is just that image. Then you can export this video, send it to your phone via your email, or I like to use AirDrop on the Mac. Then at the moment of uploading it, you can hit that pencil icon and just scroll all the way to the end where you get that beautiful thumbnail. That's currently the only method that I've got for being able to design my own custom high quality thumbnails for my YouTube shorts. I hope you found this content valuable. That's basically it for now. If you want to learn more about making money with YouTube and earning a full time income online, my new course is just about to be released. So check the link in the description of this video and the pinned comment. Thank you so much for supporting us here at Studio Hacks. We'll see you in the next video.